So I have the pit barrel cooker fired up cooking up a pork loin today, but I decided also to do a little bit of an experiment. Once that pork loin is done in a couple hours and I take it off there, I'm gonna let the pit barrel cooker keep going. And we're gonna check back every hour to see what the temperature is so that we can see how long it will maintain a temperature above 225 degrees for smoking. Now, from my experience, the PVC usually runs somewhere between 275 and 300 degrees for the time that I've been using it to cook. Now, I'm just going to let it keep going because you can really cook at 225 and above. That's a good smoking temperature for things like ribs, tri-tip, brisket, whatever you're going to do. So I want to see how many full hours we get out of that normal charcoal load in the basket. I lit the PVC using my modified method. I've got that pork loin on there. That's a separate video I'm doing. But every hour, I'll bring you out here. We'll check the temperature and we'll see how many hours of cook time we have out of this. So I'll see you in about an hour. All right, we are one hour in and the PBC is right at 297. It's been ranging in that 280 to 300 range. And by the time we check at two hours, that pork loin that you can see is at 128 internal. We'll be off there, so it'll just be the PBC running. So I'll see you back here at hour two. All right, we are two hours in, and you can see that the PBC temp is mid-306. That pork loin is off there. You can see the probe temp is gone. And I want to show you how my temperature probe gets into the PBC. I added a silicone grommet to the PBC just below grate level. The bottom probe you see is the ambient temperature probe just poking through there. The upper one is the wire for the internal meat temperature probe, which is just resting on the cooking grate. So we'll check this again at three hours. All right, hour three check-in. We are at 315, running a little hotter than what I normally see, but we've got a little bit of a breeze today, and I think it could be adding a little bit of oxygen through that lower vent, which is set at one quarter open, which is the recommended setting for my elevation. So we'll come back and check in another hour. All right, we are four hours in, holding right around 299. It's just been, you know, running steady. It was up above 300 there for a while, but came back down, so we're right in that 300 range, doing good. We'll come back and check it in five hours. All right, we are five hours in. We're right at 319. It's still getting a little bit of that breeze, I think, through the vent. It's running a little hotter, but honestly, anything within 25 degrees of that sort of target range, to me, that's good. So the PBC is still rocking five hours in. See you back here at six hours. All right, we are six hours in, 293 degrees. We'll check it again, seven hours. All right, seven hours, 287 degrees. We're definitely trending down, but that's still a great cooking temperature. See you at eight hours. The PBC has been going for eight hours now, and you can see we're on the downward side of the temps, running at 252 right now. That's still plenty for smoking, but I'm guessing that by hour nine, we're gonna be somewhere close to that minimum I set of the 225. So we'll see. See you back here at hour nine. Nine hours and 237 degrees. At the rate it's dropping, it will be below 225 by hour 10. So at nine hours, I'm gonna call it. So nine solid hours of cook time on the PVC. That goes with everything that I've noticed since I've been using it. It's an extremely efficient cooker. One load of charcoal in there, just as they instruct. I use Kingsford Blue regular briquettes. And I've gotta say, every time I use the PVC, I like it even more.